These five minute vids are so annoying. <laughs> she needs to get me head sorted out, try and get it fixed. So, mechanics on the first one, stats on the second is that bit. Stats on the first one, mechanics on the second is that bit. So, what have we got? 3 over 10 times 7 over 9, 7 over 10, 3 over 9. That's going to give me, according to this, 7 over 15 there. So hopefully that's okay. No worries with that one. If you have, just let me know. Right now then, this next one. Oh, here we go. This is the GCSE question, uh, which everybody kicked off about a few years ago. So it says there are N sweets in a bag. Six of the sweets are orange. The rest of them are yellow. So what have I got then? All I've got... Is I've got orange sweets and I've got yellow sweets. Now I've got six in terms of a probability, the probability of me choosing orange is going to be six out of n because I've got six oranges out of n sweets. If it just said 15 sweets, you'd be happy with it. Now the yellow ones, now this is a little bit more awkward. So for my yellow ones, the probability of the yellow would be now. If I've got six orange, I've got n minus six yellow out of n. So that's n minus six, because they add up to n in total, out of n. And that's got kind of blew people's minds. So we take a sweet from a bag at random and we eat the sweet. We then take at random another sweet. So think about what's happened now then. So for the oranges, I've now gone down to five oranges instead of n. It's n take 1. Now this one for the yellows is still n take 6 over, but now n take 1. And that's pretty tough to get your head around. So the oranges and yellows. So if I took a yellow, it was n minus 6. But if I take one, out, one of those and eat it, it's now n minus 7. But I've reduced the n down to n minus 1. And that was, that's going to be 6 out of n minus 1, isn't it? There. Now it tells you that the probability that we eat two oranges is a third. So two oranges is this top line. So it's telling me that six over n times by five over n minus one is actually equal to a third. So now I want to, oh, so it says part A says, Show that I can get that quadratic. So what have I got then? So I've got 30 for times the top line together. I've got n squared minus n is equal to a third. So if I cross multiply, take the 3 up, that's a 90. Take this bracket up, that's an n squared minus n. Do a rearrange. And I've got our a. So that's part A done. Part B, if I just solve it, I get n is 10, or n is minus 9. But n has to be greater than 0, so n is 10. And that is like the most horrendous GCSE question going there. I've got 3 minutes 50 now, and I've got to talk about mutually exclusive in this one as well. So I'm going to stop the vid there and we'll start a new vid.